Hi everyone. Welcome back to Isabella Animations. The channel where you get spiritual and edifying videos to feed your soul. In this video you are about to watch, you will see why you should always pray before going on a trip or embarking on any form of journey. Relax, sit, and enjoy the video. Make sure you watch to the end and also ensure to key into every prayer that is raised in this video. I'm sure you will be blessed. And please, don't forget to like, share and leave a comment in the comment section. Also do well to subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell to get notified each time a new video is uploaded. Please subscribe. Agent of Hell, I greet you all. I hope all of you are prepared for the great task ahead. Operation Destruction. We shall not use any other means other than accident, to terminate the lives of children of men. Take over streets, roads, every nook and cranny. Spill blood everywhere, and make sure no traveler reaches his or her destination. But remember that we have a boundary. Anyone who has the mark of life upon him thou shall not touch, else, you are finished. You all should take this to your various districts and commission your cohorts to cover everywhere. They should do everything possible to stop people from praying before they embark on a journey, so that they will not commit their journey to the hands of the Holy One. You know that the Holy Book says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Distract as many as possible, such that they will not remember to call on the name of the Lord. Abaddon. My Lord. Apollin. My Lord. Andras. Yes, my Lord. Azza. My Lord. You all must carry out this assignment diligently. I want you to know that there is no room for excuses. Like I said, let blood flow. Let blood flow. Spill blood everywhere. Dear, I will be traveling tomorrow for a very important business meeting. You're traveling tomorrow, and you are just telling me. This is not fair. Is anyone traveling around here? I can smell some sort of traveling around here. Oh yes, someone is traveling right in this house. I'm so sorry dear. It wasn't a planned meeting. I only got to know about it today. Do you remember the contract that was supposed to be awarded to my company some months ago? The one that the commissioner tried to lobby for? Yes I remember. The greedy commissioner was standing on your way. Yes, exactly. I was called to present that same proposal again. And from every indication, the contract will be awarded to my company. Wow. This is a good news. Oh yes, it is. Don't worry honey, God will intervene. You'll surely be awarded the contract. But we have to pray before you embark on the journey. Pray? Yes, we need to commit your journey to God's hands. So that God will go before you and make every crooked path straight and also so that God can protect you from every form of accident. Must you pray for everything? Must we pray for everything? I'm sorry I don't think I have the time. Yes dear, the book of Psalm chapter 37 verse 5 says, Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. No, don't listen to her it is not necessary. It is not necessary. I'm out of here. Good night. I need to get going. Dear, at least. Let's say a word of prayer before you leave. Don't let her waste your time. Leave now. Woman, I have told you I don't have time for that. Don't waste my time. Honey, I promise, just a minute. I said no. I will see you when I come back. Take care of yourself. I love you. I love you too, dear. Bye, dear. Bye. Please subscribe. Thank you. 
you better take a last look at your house, because you won't come back here. Tell Shirley die today. Start the car, for I can't wait to end your life. I just can't wait to get the contract. Which contract? Look at someone who will not survive the next minute. Keep fooling yourself. Oh yes. It is time to end everything. Lord, please have mercy upon my husband. Grant him journey mercy. Your word says I will go before you and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron. Father, please make every crooked path straight for him in the name of Jesus. Psalm 121, 7-8 says, The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Father, please keep my husband from all harm. Watch over his life. Preserve his going and coming in the name of Jesus. Grant him favor, let the contract be awarded to him. Good morning, please who am I speaking with? This is Dr. Sean, from Life First Clinic. Okay, please, how may I help you? Your husband was involved in a car accident and was rushed to our clinic. Accident? Oh my god. Please how is he, is he okay? Madam, you have to come over immediately. He has been rushed into the theater because he's in a critical state. I will be on my way immediately. Please do all you can to save my husband's life, nothing must happen to him. We will definitely try our best madam. Lord, please have mercy. Save my husband's life. Please how is my husband, is he okay? Your husband is still in the theater. He will be fine, he's in safe hands. Just take your seat and pray for him. Though his case is critical, I assure you. He'll be fine. Madam, the operation was successful. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. Please, doctor, can I see him now? Oh, yes. You will see him, but not now. Madam, please can I briefly see you in my office now? Doctor, hope there is no problem. Not at all. There is no problem. Everything is fine. Madam, we thank God, the surgery was successful. Just that, your husband may, and may not be able to walk with his legs again. Though it's 50-50. Oh my god. No madam, don't get me wrong. I did not say he won't be able to walk again. He still has a chance. It's 50-50. God please have mercy. Dear, that was the revelation God showed me. I was so afraid all through the night. Do you now see the reason why we need to pray before you travel this morning? This is terrifying. I reject it in Jesus' name. Dear, I'm so sorry for refusing to pray when you suggested that last night. Please can we pray now? It's okay dear. Sure, we can pray now. Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness over our lives. We thank you for your mercy and kindness. We thank you for all the good things you have done for us. May your name be praised. Lord, we ask for your mercy for all our unfaithfulness, we ask that you forgive us all our iniquity and wash us with your precious blood. Amen. 
Psalm 121, 7 and 8 says, The Lord will keep you from all harm, He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. Father Lord, let your blood of protection be upon him as he travels, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord Jesus, I commit his journey before you today. Take control, in the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare your going out and coming in shall be guaranteed by God's mercies, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Any power making a decree to cause misfortunes on your way, break by fire, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Dear, let us begin to make declarations about your journey. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Embarking on prayers before traveling is a wonderful experience to first commit your journey into the hands of God. To pray for journey mercies is an art of requesting God to keep you safe and protected. No matter how important the tour is to you, it is very important to talk to God to let you know if He assigned you to embark on the journey or not. Do you have a business trip or a vacation coming up? Think of thanking him for keeping you alive and his banner of protection over your life. So many people don't usually pray, they believe the fact that no evil will befall them on their way. This might be a good statement. The Bible says we should pray. Once you've prayed for your travel, leave the rest of the journey into God's hand and let him do the impossible. After prayers come testimonies. For example, when the enemy confronts you with fear of an accident, car accident, plane accident and so on, it is your duty to pray against any form of tragedy aggressively until victory is yours and you can thank God for safe arrival. Maybe the reason why you are somehow afraid before taking over the journey is as a result of your recent nightmare about the ghastly motor accident you had. If you are a child of God who knows his authority, you have the power to bind, cast out and nullify the bad dreams. The mistake of lots of people is that, if they see the bad signs coming, they will never pray. The spiritual controls the physical. Some wicked powers often carry out their activities at night when their victims are already asleep. The word of God is quick and powerful to protect us from evil. His mercies have assured us that our journey will be a success. With this assurance, always commit your journey to God's hands and you will be safe. May God keep and protect you in all your ways in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Please, don't forget to like, share and leave a comment in the comment section. Also do well to subscribe to this channel if you haven't and click on the notification bell to get notified each time a new video is uploaded. Please subscribe.